Good afternoon everybody, this is the, the Happy Little Plucker and today I want to kick off a, a new series of videos on uh, what I think is going to be a daily project and I'm going to call it News and Views, that will be the name of the playlist. Uh, and basically the idea behind this is a daily discussion on world news events and local news events and basically just give my opinion and my take on the uh, items that are making the news. I'm going to start off today with quite a controversial subject at the minute, which is um, a story without naming names uh, or clubs or anything like that. Um, it's about footballers and, well, I should say, yeah, any professional really as well uh, that's been charged of an offence, uh, in this case, the offence being rape. Whether or not they should be allowed after they've served their time to continue in their chosen field. Now my own opinion on this subject is they shouldn't be allowed to carry on a professional uh, a professional career. Uh, for me personally, I it would be the same as say in the Hague uh, war criminal courts. If a war criminal was charged with heinous crimes against humanity uh, even if he served his time, be that five years, ten years, twenty years, should he then be allowed to return to the role of being a war criminal? Uh, and I would say no. On one hand, I'm saying the subject of rape may not be on the same perceived level as, say, a war criminal, um, but on the same mentality it is because to allow this person or persons to have served their time and then go back to their chosen field, it is still indirectly sending out the wrong signal. And don't forget, these people are public role models. Uh, whether they accept that or not, that is just what comes with the position uh, that they, you know, that becomes with the position of the job they're in. So I want to start this off today and, and let me know what you think. It's, it's, as I said, it's, I'm not saying my opinion counts for, you know, if it, to another person it may not count for anything. It's just like get a discussion going and as I said, every day I'm going to like put another topic up there and I just give my honest, what I really think about it. So as I said, so my opinion on that is, is know that the sports people and celebrities should not be allowed to. If, they, if they've been caught and they've been processed through the legal system and they've been charged uh, and have been found guilty, then no, they, I'm not saying they can't go on and do other things, but I don't think they should be able to return to a role where they become basically social role models, um, not for our generation, but for future generations. Um, I know it's, it, there's, there's so many red lines, I mean I don't even have any football knowledge as I said, but I think that's irrelevant in this case because it's uh, it's an area that I think it's, you know, try and imagine this from the, uh, the viewpoint of, of say a victim who then has to go on for the rest of her life and, uh, and watch how this guy or, or female returns to their former career and all the, and all the glory, uh, the honour and glory that comes with that. I, I just don't think that's that's sending out the right message. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up for today, and that's my five pence worth on today's news topic. As I said, if you like, uh, leave a comment or subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button, and also leave a, a suggestion of any other topics you want me to uh, give my daily five pence worth to. All right, this has been the Happy Little Plucker. So for now, take care, everyone, and speak soon.